So I've noticed that barely any Surfshark VPN reviews mention the ton of different plans this VPN has. And to be fair, even I'm at fault for this, but here I am to fix it. I've pulled up every Surfshark plan there is. I'm gonna show you which plan is for what and hopefully help you pick the right one. The first distinction between the different plans is the subscription length. This one doesn't affect the features you get, but it highly influences the price. There's one month, 12 month, and 24 month subscription periods. The one month plan is good for short term use, like if you're traveling abroad or you need to watch a show in a different country's library. That said, while the answer to is Surfshark free is a no, you can get their seven day Surfshark free trial, which is available on mobile devices and Mac OS. If you're planning to use Surfshark for longer, paying a monthly basis can get super expensive. The 12 month plan has a much lower monthly rate. Just keep in mind, you'll have to pay for the whole year at once. But if you're already committing to a longer subscription period, the two year option is gonna cost you the least overall because it has the lowest monthly rates and adds some additional free months on top of it. If you're unsure though, keep in mind that all plans have a 30 day money back guarantee so you can use it for a sort of free trial. Here's the thing though, getting the cheapest price is not as easy as selecting the longest plan as VPNs tend to hide their best offers. So if you need it, I'll leave the current best Surfshark deal in the description. It's just a simple link that can automatically apply the latest Surfshark coupon code. So that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. This is just the beginning. The subscription period is more of a general rule, while there are three main plans overall. Surfshark Starter, Surfshark One, and Surfshark One Plus. These differ in terms of features, and the more perks it has, the pricier it gets. The Surfshark Starts plan is the one that covers all the VPN benefits, whether that's privacy protection, streaming, or torrenting. I'd say the first two things is where Surfshark is the strongest at. On the privacy side, they have an audited no logs policy and RAM based servers to back this up. In simple terms, this means they don't have a way to log or keep user data, which is what you want to see from any VPN. Also, you couldn't catch me using a VPN without a kill switch, as it's what prevents IP leaks from happening in case the VPN connection stumbles. Of course, Surfshark checks that off. But can Surfshark block ads? Yes, their clean web feature swipes away even the most aggressive ads and it's honestly the savior of my patience. Surfshark's also my current go-to choice to access location restricted websites and well, mainly streaming platforms, not gonna lie. Since it has a ton of servers across 100 countries and the WireGuard protocol to power the connection, I can access basically everything I need and I haven't noticed any buffering either. And let's not forget the alternative ID feature, their newest addition. It takes online privacy to a whole other level by allowing me to create a fake persona for anonymous browsing. I have a full review on this, so I'll leave it in the description for you. Anyway, that's a little Surfshark VPN review for you. No matter which plan you choose, the VPN will stay exactly the same. But if you decide to level up, Surfshark 1 brings a whole new load of additional tools. The bundle price is still lower than what providers like ExpressVPN or NordVPN ask for. And to be fair, in an ExpressVPN versus NordVPN versus Surfshark VPN comparison, Surfshark actually wins in terms of value here. I mean, come on, they added a full antivirus to the mix. Not a feature that scans your download files, a full blown anti-malware software. There are multiple device scanning options, webcam protection, and real-time protection that keeps an eye out for threats 24 seven. What's more, the Surfshark One bundle includes a bunch of privacy features. There's alerts that keep an eye out for my personal data leaks, a safe search feature that removes paid ads and malicious websites from your search results. If you're considering this plan, from my review of Surfshark VPN, I can say it carries a lot of value. Just, of course, don't forget to grab the Surfshark discount code from the description so you don't overpay for it. Now you're probably thinking, what more could the OnePlus plan be adding to the roster? Well, the feature is a bit specific, yet very, very cool. It's a data removal feature called Incogni. This one doesn't really have anything to do with a VPN. That's why I don't usually include it in a regular Surfshark VPN review. But it clears out your data from company databases and people search sites. You would not believe how much data various data brokers can have on you. From your name and gender to the apps you use and even your contact details. It's much too overwhelming to try and remove it all by yourself. Ask me how I know. I had to write emails, recite data laws, wait weeks for a response, email again.
It's just not worth it. So I got Incognito to do it for me. Their agents contacted the Dace brokers on my behalf and requested all the info to be removed. Just keep in mind this only works if you're from the US, Canada, UK, or the European Union. Do I recommend this for absolutely everyone? No, but if you're interested in online privacy, you'll definitely appreciate this service. Now that you know all the plans, let's break this Surfshark review down into its more digestible pieces. The Surfshark 1 subscription is my personal pick as it combines both privacy with VPN features and security by adding a reliable antivirus into the mix. Meanwhile, the OnePlus plan is mainly for those who want their personal data to vanish from the online world in addition to getting all the Surfshark tools. Is Surfshark VPN good if you only get the starter plan. Yes, it covers all the VPN features, so if you don't need an antivirus, you will do perfectly fine with just the starter plan. As for subscription periods, the longer term ones are gonna give you the best price, while the monthly plan is good if you only need a VPN for a little bit. I hope this helps. Go grab your plan with a discount, and while you're completing the Surfshark download, let me know if you'd like any other review videos like this one. Make sure you like and subscribe and all that jazz, though I would really appreciate it. Cheers, I will see you in the next video.